Current Street just released on iPhone, iPads, i whatever, but it's not on Android yet. So right now in the game, this is all I have. I have no money to my name, I, six grand. But because of this new information, I am going to spend a hundred dollars on the game and see what it gets me. Over on the Car X Twitter, they actually mentioned this. They've said that the Android version of the game is coming out and their aim is to get it out this year still. I really hope that's true because I daily drive an Android device mostly, but even better news, in my opinion, Car X Street on PC is still planned for December 15th. So that's why I've decided to spend money today on this version and then be ready for the PC one. So this is the car I've started the game with, my uh, sunny truck, <laughs> if you will. But it, it's not worth much money. It's not got much power. But ultimately, I, I, I didn't want to keep this long term. So in the game, you can actually go to the car showroom and have a look and browse at all the cars available. In the last section, there's a premium section where you can purchase actual cars. This is the RX-7 that they've got in the game, which looks awesome and i definitely want to add that to my collection however one thing i'm really excited about is this convertible a90 supra which you can actually only get with the secondary currency you can earn it in the game but from my experience so far i've earned one i've only done about eight races in the game so it's kind of skipping ahead quite a lot but as i said progression on the pc version because i can play it on tv so to speed along and actually purchase this very quickly i'm gonna spend $50 straight away, which would have been 94 on the gold currency. I'm not signed in. <laughs> Who the hell signed me out? What the hell? <laughs> so in the king's monies, that is, I just signed in. Done. We have purchased <laughs> all the gold. Now give it to me. Purchase successful. 1,001 gold. I feel terrible doing this. I don't actually generally play a lot of mobile games, but I know the norm is to get the game for free and then buy microtransactions to basically boost yourself ahead. So now I'm a level two with almost a million dollars. So let's go right ahead and purchase the Supra. There we go. It just drove out and it's back again. <laughs> the selected car is located in the top corner of the map. So this is actually my second car in the game. <laughs> it cost uh, quite a lot of money. How do we... Oh, I, do I need to buy a house? Oh, okay. That's uh, good to know. Let's purchase a house. How much is it? Oh, it's only 15 grand for this house here. So I'm, I'm going to... Yeah, why not? I'm a millionaire. Never mind. I uh, didn't need to do that at all. Now I've got both my cars just kind of sat side by side. But this is the A90 convertible. It's just never going to exist. If Toyota had a brain, they would make it exist. But look at that. What a beautiful machine. I love it. There are some issues with this car nonetheless, and uh, I'm going to fix them in this game very quickly. But let's get going. Let's drive this A90 Supra from the go. This thing is so much quicker. I'm actually curious how the game's gonna run. Now I've got the A90 Supra, which is a million, <laughs> did not expect that to come up, a million times faster than my previous car. But uh, it's not fast enough for me. I am the speedy pants man Maji, and I wish to spend more money. Hey, this is sick. Oh, another thing I noticed that you guys told me down in the comments below is this isn't even the full map. It should have been pretty obvious if you look at the mini map itself or the full map itself. Zooming out, you can see that the map isn't actually huge. For a mobile game, quite frankly, this is very good. But you can see there's roads that pretty much lead to nowhere. For example, if I zoom into here, it just disappears. There's something missing in quite a few corners of the map. Well, that then makes it pretty obvious that this map is going to expand over time, which is really freaking cool. I keep having to raise it how hyped I am for the fact that when I get to play this on PC, which mean a few days make a tweet, well, if that's possible, basically saying that, yeah, they know they've, they've delayed it and uh, we can't play it until next year on PC. Then I'd be like, well, now I've got an A90 Super. How about I just sell all my cars? That's a brilliant idea. Now, I've not actually done any of the drift stuff in the game yet, which this is based on a... Why did that just happen? Now, if you do actually want to buy microtransactions in this game, something I've just realized, if I click on this, the Junius events that I was doing previously, my car is too fast. So even though I've spent money to kind of push myself ahead, I actually can't progress fully unless I go back to my weaker car. I think that's pretty cool, actually. Locking it behind levels is definitely a, a positive here in the... Well, you still get to progress if you really wanted to. Here we go. First drift event. Let's see how we do. I am terrified. We've got traction control off from the go. We've got to get a R6, it says, of 600. So I'm guessing that's my point. The handbrake is kind of in an awkward place. I'm trying... 
I mean, at least I did a drift. I'm going to do my best. Watch me, watch me, watch me. I'm going to be drift man with cheese. That's what you're going to call me by the end of this. You're going to be like, oh my God. He, he's a, he's an absolute, <laughs> he's an absolute moron. He can't pull a skin. Yeah, I can. Watch me, watch me. Do it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get back on track. No, no, no. Not happening. This is without any modification. No, don't tell me that's the end of the track. Don't tell me that's the end of the track. There's no freaking way. Oh my God, it is. I got... That was terrible. No worries. We got $200 still to say well done. <laughs> well done for being an idiot. Okay, let's be real. We want to upgrade the car. We want to see what you can do modifying this car, making it visually more sexy, making it visually powerful and also actually powerful as well. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't just do it and, and, and not have any speed and ability. Oh my goodness. Oh! Hold it, hold it. That's solid. That's all we need to do. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Uh, we've got so much money. I'm going to fast travel. I am so wasteful. I'm going to travel without even driving there. So first things first, this thing has a C rating of two at 199 and an R rating of 252. In case you didn't know how it works is the R seems more of a handling side and the C is kind of the performance side. At least it looks like a C. I don't know what else it could be. Maybe it's not <laughs> an English character. So what we can do to this Supra is of course upgrade the engine or we can swap it out completely. That sounds a hell of a lot more exciting. Now, I'm grateful <laughs> that there are gold, but at the same time, I wouldn't be if I wasn't paying for the microtransactions in the game. The 2JZ, uh, sorry, sorry, JZ2GT, <clears throat> my bad, completely wrong there, is technically less powerful but I don't care. A 2JZ in the A90 Supra is perfecto. If it was me, I'll, I'll go for the B8 motor, but I'm not going to do that. We've got quite a few cool engines. We could put a, an RB, sorry, a BR26 in there as well. That's super cool. And the uh, RS20. Mm. But I'm going with the 2J. Slap that in there. Installed and already beautiful. So it took me a little bit of time to figure out the menus and such, but it, it, it all makes sense after this. So I've done the engine swap. That is done. But what now I can do is go into the individual pieces and swap them out for something more powerful. I'm going to go for the ultimate turbo, which costs gold. The class will be changed. Yeah, I understand. Class three, instantly, super sick. I'm going to spend so much of my money doing this. Change class again. I'm ready. I'm spending all my gold. Maybe that's a good thing. I have realized that all the best stuff seems to be gold. I'm hoping later in the game you get the gold quite easily, but it seems like for now, yeah, for the best parts, you need the better currency, which duh, makes sense, but I'm out of money. <laughs> this is why people spend so much money on these games. It's so easy. Every week in the news, you hear about a kid that spent all of their parents' money on their iPad and they're like, Apple, give us it back. How about you set up parental controls? You absolute baboons. So you can also swap the transmission. The transmission, we can go for the ultimate by spending our cash. That's pretty cool. And uh, clutch. Sure, that's, that's what that is. If that's clutch, then what the hell is this? It's called a CLH60. Yep. I want to make sure we get some suspension upgrades in there. I, I don't know the correlation between if the part... I just bought the second to worst one. I don't know. Second to best one. I don't know why I did that. I was going for the best. I do want to save some money for some parts. You know how, like, in some games, you don't actually get the correlated performance upgrade with the part that you choose... Yeah. Okay, this is pretty cool. So we can now install spacers. So let's go for the furthest ones. Makes sense. And we have tires. Do we have like drift tires or are they just all sport tires? So they seem to like add or remove grip. That's pretty cool. I'm going to keep the ones I've got. Here we go. It still sounds a little bit odd. <laughs> It sounds a little bit better, but this thing is feeling snappy. Now, the most important thing, also, I don't know if you guys know, so doesn't the brake sound sound exactly like the brake sound in GTA San Andreas? I don't know if you've noticed that. That's such a deep, like a nerdy detail that I've noticed. But I'm actually gonna go and drive to the location because I genuinely want to find out what this thing is like. It's already so much quicker. Holy crap. So the pop-in is pretty obvious. Oh my God. Oh! <laughs> Hell already feels like it could be just drifting everywhere. I maybe it should have upgraded the tires a little bit, but you know what? Don't care. We're here to see what the stupidness is like. We're gonna put a body kit on this thing. Well, maybe it just it just wants to go. These brakes need upgrading. I feel like the the brakes have just <laughs> not received as much effort as I did putting on that ultimate turbo. <laughs>
I'm gonna need to find a highway later on, but of course it's time to rice this thing in these. If I don't win the drift event now, I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> Supra in the shop, give me the body. Another cool thing that people pointed out is of course, when you put a body kit on, it becomes unpainted. That is such a sick small detail. I say small detail, it's a pretty big detail. Holy Jesus, these kits are insane. <laughs> That is one of the ugliest things I've ever seen for the rear bumper on the Supra. Uh, but you know what? We move. <laughs> it's it's all about the wide bodiness. I'm going to go for that right there. We've got a front bumper then. We can actually, hopefully, can we change? No, nope. I think we're we're stuck on what we can have. I just realized the exhausts are coming out of the hood there. <laughs> we can do a full on bumper delete if we want to. Boy, oh boy, this is crazy. I, th I feel like we should just go for the best kit. For this, because we're showing how much money we have, we're just we're just gonna stick it like this. So we can change the lights, which is pretty cool. We can have a intake light, which is so, so awesome. I kind of want to do that. That looks, it looks kind of garbage. <laughs> At the same rate, it's always freaking cool. We've got the rear lights. I'm gonna keep the standard super rear lights and we've got the wing mirrors, which hopefully we can we just make a carbon version of them. Is that carbon? I can't quite tell. It looks fine. We'll go with that. Wings. Well, it looks like we're not going to be able to change it other than the standard wing. But you know me. If there's a double wang available, we are going to do it. Change the exhaust pipes, which is pretty damn cool. I'm going to go for those big ones. We've got some wheels we can go through as well, which honestly, I kind of like the ones on it already now. So that whole thing is going to cost us 125 grand. I am glad we saved money because lordy lord. <laughs> oh. What a beautiful blue ball. Oh, we could go for the red. Oh, the red does look nice. Go for a bright yellow. That's almost blinding. And the orange, fast and furious style. So that would be pretty cool. So you can change each piece of the car individually, which I do quite like that. I was hoping I could do just the splitter, but it seems like we're doing the whole front bumper. Fine. We can paint the roof. Uh, <laughs> and of course, we can paint the wheels. We can make them black. We can make them slightly black. We can make them silver. Which, to be honest, I think the silver might end up being nicer on this. So you go buying all the paint. 13 grand, that's an expensive paint job. Right, let's see what we got speed-wise. I think this is probably the best highway in the game right now. So we're going to follow this and see what speeds we can get. Oh, there's one right there as well that looks probably even better. Whatever, I just got the need for speed. I'm sure I'm not the only one. <laughs> this boy is going to go crazy. It's already drifting so much. Why does it seem like it's drifting better than it was before? Have I just got good? I am going to smash these drift events now. This is crazy. <laughs> to the mountains we go. Man, I love the A92 Super. It's such a cool looking car. And we've made it even better by putting a better engine in it. I'm sorry. B58 fans out there. BMW fans out there. I'm not even sorry. I, I was say, going to say sorry, but I changed my mind. You don't deserve my sorry. Okay. Here we go. Give me the boost. Give me the boost. What can we get? Holy Jesus. This thing is quick, 170 miles an hour. Don't crash into anything. Just hold it. Hold it steady. Oh my goodness. That's pure skill right there. Oh no. Oh, oh, oh. It was an attempted 360. No, it wasn't. I accidentally did that. Can I cross there? Oh, interesting. It doesn't seem like it wants to let me. No worries. We'll just keep running through the tunnel. We'll just keep running. We'll keep it boosting. We'll keep it speeding. Pretty damn cool to see. So this is nowhere near the top end car, but I have spent quite a lot of money on this car. Realistically, I have just spent $100 on one car, which is pretty crazy. That's what I'm talking about. These mobile games are insane and you should be careful like to be honest thankfully people were saying this game is not too bad about earning money you won't actually feel the need to do it which is pretty cool to hear especially for a mobile game again they're generally free to play so you kind of expect the option to be there for microtransactions but I, i've been earning decent money i think the the progression path is much more like aggressive than most people may like but you know me i like a proper serious progression system Holy crap! How are we going so much faster? 205 miles an hour. What a beast of a car. And we're going to try once more. I didn't try last time, but we're going to try. <laughs> Can we do a 360? If this goes well, you have to, to subscribe because <laughs> I need you. Here we go. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm counting that as a win. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. And I'll be back, especially, hopefully, when the PC version launches. And, uh, well, 
we now got an overpowered car and our money we can probably get back to normal pretty quickly if not <laughs> because i do want to progress properly be sure to smash like and check out this video here if you didn't see my previous car x street video well this is where i first played the game and was a bit more sensible with my money smash like subscribe and peace